before we get into the details of the chapter i would request all of you if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel so development is the name of chapter what we are going to study now and let us learn about how development is different for different people you can see on the screen what development promises different people is different goals the different people can have different goals what we may call it as development what we may call it as development for one may not be development for the other person it may even be destructive for the other person so what development promises different people different goals now different people are having different goals as we all know major industrialists want more number of dams to be constructed when you construct more number of dams in the construction process many of the farmers many of the villages will get submerged so if you see the second point here what may be development for one may not be development for the other person so what may be the development is construction of dams may be looked as as a source for generating hydroelectricity and important for the industries but it is destructive for the farmers they are losing their particular fields some villages are getting submerged so we need to look at all these major things so development is different for different individuals we all are in this race of achieving something so in this process of achieving something that should not be an hindrance or something which is disturbing or destructive for the others that point has to be taken into consideration if you look at the income and other goals as you can see here people want more income money material things that one can if that is one factor which is very important in all our lives how is the quality of our life is depending on non materialistic things such as equal treatment freedom security and respect for others for development people look at a mix of goals these goals or developmental goals are not only about better income but also about other important things in life we generally think earning money is the only criteria that people look those who are looking for development yes it could be okay with some people but in reality if you look at the things money alone cannot get you everything there are certain non materialistic things like equal treatment respect freedom security and respect for others this cannot be bought you cannot buy respect you cannot buy freedom you cannot buy security so development means it is a mix of goals it should be a combination of income it should also be other important things in life earning money alone cannot give you respect cannot give you equal treatment in the society cannot give you security if you build your house somewhere very far away from the city you might be rich you might be building a nice house but for that house you need electricity you need road connectivity you need water supply and you need society around that this cannot be bought by money so development means not just earning money development means earning what development is a mix of goals income and social aspects so we need to consider what is important for our life so in this video we have learned what is development development is different for different people development means 
achieving a better standard of living when we achieve a better standard of living in terms of economy when you earn good amount of money that means you feel you are developing but earning money alone is not development we need to have certain social aspects and social security so development means it is a combination of different goals together you need to have a mix of goals development means mix of goals it is different for different people for a farmer producing a good production can be a good development using modern techniques modern machines can be a development for a student achieving good results and getting promoted can be developed for an employee getting promotion can be developed for an employee if you give the promotion and transfer him from his own place to some other place then the employee may not like it because it is development only but there are other aspects also family needs which have to be fulfilled so that cannot be done if you are transferring him for a politician winning the elections and achieving a ministry can be a developed so like this different people have different goals income alone is not the criteria for development earning money is not the only criteria for development or a goal in life there are different goals for different people for some people achieving great results or participating in olympics representing the country in the national sports like this different people have different goals and different aspirations so development means it is different for different people that's all we have in this video stay tuned please subscribe national development what is development and how it is different for different people we have discussed in the previous video so now let us discuss about national development different nations could have different as well as conflicting notions of the country's development so different people might have different opinions about a country's development for some people having complete government control on certain policies or farming can be considered as development but to be honest and fair it is not same with all people so the point here is different people could have different means the opinions what they have might be completely contrary completely opposite views about the country's develop different people express different opinion now how to compare the different countries in order to compare the different countries their income is considered as one of the most important attributes to check how the country is developing the more the country will get the income the more it is considered as developed so countries which having higher incomes are considered as more developed than the countries which are having less income the countries which are having more income are considered as the countries which are having more development now as the different countries have different populations comparing the total income will not tell us what an average person earns so we compare the average income of the countries so in order to know about different countries which country is developing which country is earning more income they compare the average income means they take the total population income divided by total population and the average what they get that is taken to check whether the country is developing or not as you can see on the screen the development in the years and the days as per the sources of johns hopkins university the countries like us brazil russia spain all these countries are developing countries or developed countries you can observe there and in the second slide at the bottom india's position slip means falls down among the 
world's fastest growing economy so you can see how the country is growing or how it is falling down you can see the gdp percentage of growth has fallen down from 7.5 to 5 5.5 by 2019 then how is the average income taken of a country the average income is the total income of the country divided by total population is called per capita income total income of the country divided by total population of the country is called per capita income or the average income so you can see the formula here average income is equal to total income of the country divided by total population of the country and in the world bank report or world development report the classification of the country is done how do we divide the countries we divide the countries basing on the world development report so the world development report takes per capita income as the criteria for classifying the countries as developed or developing countries you can see here the countries with the per capita income of 12056 us dollars per annum per annum and above in 2017 are considered as rich country the countries which are having 12056 dollars per annum as an average income in 2017 is considered as rich country so the countries which have per capita income 955 dollars or less is called low income countries they are considered as low income countries the example is india so the per capita income is the only criteria which was taken initially to decide whether the countries are developing or not developing countries or we can say under developing condition under developing country so in this video we learn how the country's per capita income is calculated and then basing on the per capita income how it is decided that whether it is a developed country or a developing country hello everyone welcome to amska academy now we will be learning about human development index initially it was only the per capita income which has been taken into consideration but now looking at various other factors like literacy healthcare we have decided along with per capita income there has come an index called human development index so that will help you to understand more so let us quickly learn about human development index human development index the human development index is a index which is prepared by united nations development program undp so this is an annual report what we get every year annual report in the sense every year we get this report who prepares this report united nations development program what is this report called human development index so the human development report is published every year and the major parameters what are the criteria that are used to study in this human development index report that is the longevity of life what is the life expectancy of every person in the country what are the levels of the literacy in the country what are the per capita incomes are there in that country and basing on that they rank the country so not only the economic growth they also take into consideration the health care the facilities and also the longevity literacy rate basing on all these things they study the country's development and then they rank them accordingly in a very highly developed countries high developed countries medium developed countries and low developed countries so human development index is a report or a study which is made by united nations development program through its annual human development report it publishes every year so what are the factors that they take into consideration here are the literacy levels the longevity of life or life expectancy and they also take per capita income they also take 
the several other factors related to health apart from economy and then they measure the country's development they classify the countries into four major groups like very high developed countries high developed countries medium developed countries and low developed countries they classify the countries into four categories human development index also takes the consideration of infant mortality rate number of children that die before the age of 1 year as proportion to 1000 lives birth in a particular year is called infant mortality rate means the just born babies deaths that is the first factor which is taken into consideration for the human development report the next is literacy rate what are the literacy rates it measures the proportion of literacy rate or the literate people living in the country who are 7 years and above 7 years and above who are able to read and write are considered as literates no formal education here those who know to read and write are considered as literate and it measures the proportion of literate population in the country that is the literacy rate the third aspect is net attendance ratio in the total number of children of the age 6 to 10 years how many people are attending the schools and the number of children are in the same group so what percentage of the total population aged from 6 to 10 years are attending the school those percentages will be studied and then we move on to the body mass index one way to find out if adults are undernourished is to calculate body mass index what is body mass index we calculate the body weight by their height then you get the body mass index if you know this one why do we do this body mass index test the body mass index is calculated to know whether you are undernourished or well nourished so divide the weight of a person by the square of the height by the square of the height in meters then we get the number in this figure is less than 18.5% then the person would be considered undernourished if this bmi is more than 25 then a person is overweight so we also come to know not only undernourished overweight people also we can know when the bmi is taken how is the bmi taken the bmi is taken by calculating or dividing the weight of a person by the square of the height if my my height is 6 feet then my body weight is 80 kg so 80 by 6 square if you divide you get the body mass index so the body mass index is the criteria which gives us the number to know whether it is you are undernourished or nourished or well nourished if you are undernourished means if you get the number 18.5 or less than that then you are undernourished if you are getting 25 and above you are overweight so it has to be between 18.5 to 25 then you are well nourished individual that's how we come to know about the body mass index and true body mass index we can categorize whether you are undernourished or overweight or well nourished so the human development index studies the factors like infant mortality rate literacy rate net attendance ratio body mass index before it gives a report about the country's development annually income and other criteria which are taken into consideration so when we think of a nation of a country or a region besides the average income which is the per capita income public facilities are equally significant attributes which are taken into consideration so public facilities these are the services provided by the government 
to its citizen some of the important public facilities what we take into consideration include the infrastructure the roads the sanitation facilities the public transport health care water etc are few of the important public facilities which are taken into consideration when we study about a particular country or a nation sustainability of development now sustainability of development is defined as development that meets the needs of the present and also without compromising the ability of future generation the meaning sustainable is that we need to have a balanced development that we meet the present century or the present generation needs without compromising the ability of future generations that is the meaning of sustainable or sustainability so scientists have been warning us that the present type and levels of development are not sustainable are not suitable because the future generations will naturally get deprived of certain natural benefits what we are getting today if we don't use the water properly today the future generations will not have sufficient amount of water for their survival so we need to consider this one carefully some of the examples are the over use of ground water when we are using the ground water beyond the limit which means you are creating scarcity of water for the future generation and exhaustion of natural resources when we continuously cut the trees over usage of water we are actually taking away all the resources which are given for us naturally and we are creating a moment where there the future generations will not have anything left out for them to use so we need to carefully use all the resources meeting the requirements for us and also should not compromise for the ability of future generations that has to be kept in our minds and sustainability is the utmost need of the present scenario so in this video we learned about the factors which are taken into consideration for the human development or index categorization and then what is the need for sustainable development we learned in detail about the sustainable development and in this chapter we learned how development is different for different people different people have different goals so we need to think all those aspects earning only money is not the criteria for many people for some people participating at the national level or representing the nation at the international events could be their goals and what they want to achieve and there is the human development index which has replaced the per capita income comparison between the countries only through economic terms now the un studies various factors not only the economic factors besides the economic factors it also takes into consideration the other factors and then it gives its report annually known as human development report and categorizes the countries into four different categories like highly developed developing advanced and less developed countries are the different development countries categorization which we can see in the un development report and apart from this they also consider the public facilities which are offered to the public in these countries and then they give the ranking for these nations and last but not the least we all need to remember that we need to look at the sustainable developmental aspect because we naturally got all the resources what we are enjoying today but we should preserve them carefully for the next generation which we are not doing in any aspect why because we are trying to use all the resources which we got for only ourselves we are digging the underground bore wells and squeezing the water from the inner layers of the earth at the same time we need to preserve water 
for the next generation natural resources petroleum resources forest everything are being used without any control so there should be a control and there should always be a sustainability approach towards the natural resources as we got the natural resources similarly the next generations also should get the natural share of the natural resources that's all we have in this video stay tuned thank you